Hello and welcome to a new series specifically designed to help you understand the new handicapping system that's been put in place. Over these next few episodes is our aim to hopefully educate and simplify the whole handicapping system, as well as expanding your knowledge and understanding so that you have a clear understanding of what this means to you when you step foot on the golf course. So the purpose of this first episode is just to give a, a bit of an overview of the new handicapping system that's been introduced, explain what it is, when it comes into fruition, and the benefits that it means to you as a golfer. So let's get stuck in. So the first thing I wanted to touch on is really explain the acronym WHS. This stands for World Handicapping System, and it means exactly what it says. This handicapping system, or way of measuring handicap, has been introduced worldwide. So the system that we're using in Europe is the same to the one that's being used in the States, Australia, and in Asia. So the World Handicapping System came into fruition on the 2nd of November, 2020. And this will be the way of measuring handicaps for the ongoing future. Now, some of you may have had a handicap previously that now appears slightly different. And this is normal. When the data was transferred over, the way of measuring that handicap is slightly different which is the reason why you may see a slight change in your handicap number. So there are many key benefits to the new world handicapping system. One of these is that it's arguably a little bit more accurate in measuring a player's ability around the golf course. Now the reason for this is that the new system works on an averaging basis of your last 20 rounds. Thus it takes into account your form rather than your potential for what you can shoot. Another really key benefit to the new system is it takes into account the difficulty of golf course you're playing and adjusts your handicap accordingly. So for example, if I'm a 20 handicapper playing here at Essendon, the golf course at Essendon is nowhere near as challenging as say Carnoustie up in Scotland. And as a result, the new handicapping system adjusts your score or your handicap and gives you more shots if you're playing a more challenging golf course thus making the game a little bit more inclusive and fairer and more enjoyable across the board. One of the final benefits that I particularly love is it just offers golfers variety. Now, what I mean by this is I could go out onto the golf course here at Essendon. I have the choice of playing off any set of tee that I want. I could play off the reds, I could play off the blues, the whites, or the yellows. And on top of this, I could also play off a different set of tees to my playing partners while still being competitive. My handicap and the score that I need to shoot will adjust based upon the difficulty of tee that I choose to play from. But I can still be competitive against my playing partners off a different set of tees. So hopefully that's offered you a brief overview of the new world handicapping system. But rest assured we have future episodes which are going to explain and broaden your understanding of various aspects of the new system. However, the most important point I wanna get across is continue to go out and play golf and enjoy your golf the same way you've always done. Input your scores and the beauty is the system works everything else out for you. However, if you want to understand why numbers and figures look slightly different to what they did previously, understanding future videos and episodes were really going to help you. In the meantime, enjoy your golf and we hope to see you guys soon.